Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly here. This video is the future of the advancing Noah movement. Now, um, I view myself as the next official chain and the link of the Rainbow Covenant since the time of the early Noahide community, which fell astray from the actual covenant faith and uh, wasn't any more Noahides. God started the game of Abraham and developed the Abrahamic thing, but adherence to the actual Noahide covenant there hasn't really been any for thousands of years. Now, the Talmudic Noahides, yeah, they're Noahide enough, I suppose, but, uh, well, we're car right, and we don't view that as totally correct. That's, um, that's, and it's building it on Israel for starters. It's, um, building on the opinions of the Orthodox rabbis and the judgments of the Orthodox rabbis. The seven laws are not historical, not original to the time of Noah, so, you know. It's not bona fide Noahidism, ultimately. It's close to it. It's, 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 it's definitely Noahidism of sorts, but it's not 100% the real McCoy. Talmudic Noahidism is not 100% real McCoy Noahide faith. It's not the religion Noah followed. The best records we have are, are in the Tanakh, in the scriptures, the Talmud, Seven Laws, and the Ideas in the Talmud. It's, it's, really just for your, it's really just for Pharisees having fun. That's all that is. And because of that, I, I don't really know any other historical figure who's built on the actual covenant of Noah from the scriptural perspective, from the Karite perspective, or from the Sadducee perspective, or a Boethusian perspective or a Tanakh-only perspective, who's built upon that covenant and um, formed a, a Bible-only community on the covenant. There isn't any. I, I, I haven't found anything in, in looking this stuff up through history. There's hypocysterians and all sorts of things, but there's, there isn't any. I mean. Uh, there's a ton of Noahides, as I said, but they're uh, not quite right. I wish they were. I wish the seven laws could be demonstrated clearly in scripture and be shown to be scriptural and the historical religion that Noah followed. But if they're not, the Talmud excludes that argument in the end with me every time. They're not right. Now, because of that, I have the audacity to claim that I'm the next link in the chain of the Noahide covenant. The Abrahamic people, yes, I know all about the Abrahamic people in Israel and 4,000, 5,000 years of Jewish history and all, all the observant people of Israel who've kept the covenant that they have with God, but it's a separate covenant to us. It's not Noahidism, it's Judaism. It's Abrahamism, it's Mosaism, it's Judaism. It's their own covenant, it's not the Noahide covenant. It's a new covenant, it's a separate covenant, it's not mankind's covenant. So when you when you understand those basic bits of logic from where I'm coming from, you can see that why I view myself as the next slink of a chain from the time of Noah to today. Because I can't find anyone else. I mean, the world follows Christianity. And if you're into Torah and you know it well enough and you know that Jesus is not God and he wasn't even the Messiah, you know that's just an idolatrous thing which the Western world got caught up with. Got caught up with. Yes, there's been millions of biblical believers in mankind, but still they're not getting it quite right. Not 100% correct. We're still off a bit. There's been so many people who've drawn pictures of Noah and done artwork of Noah throughout the church's history, and who've celebrated the figure of Noah and Adam and even the, the patriarchs, and have been loyal to those patriarchs probably somewhat in the hearts, and have walked in the Noahide family of man traditions in some ways and learned the, the scriptures of the Rainbow Torah, Genesis 1, 1, 1, 11, 9. So many people in the church have read that and probably citizens, citizens of mankind have read that, but they haven't adhered to the covenant without either adding to it, which the Talmud Noahide is doing or trying to in some ways doing away with it, which the Christians sort of do a bit with their new covenant. So if you can see all that, all those be, bits of logic where I'm making my argument, there isn't anyone else who's building directly on the Noahide covenant. I'm an excellent in the chat.
Now, from, I suppose, well, from Adam and Eve to Cain and Abel to Noah, we have histories of peoples in the Rainbow Torah. It's only a bit of basic history going on. There's not a huge amount of history in the Rainbow Torah. But the community does advance, and it does progress, and it does carry on. And the covenant of Noah community ultimately has carried on today, in this 21st century, with me. There are Vokari Nohites out there now, who acknowledge the fact that, you know, the Talmudic Nohite thing is not really right. There are now some current no to acknowledge that the seven laws are not really historical. So there are others who are building on that chain of the original no community. I'm not alone anymore. I'm not the only person doing it. There are some others now. In the current no group on Facebook, there are some other people now doing it, building on that original chain. Now, as I was saying, from, we go from Adam and we have Enoch, another man of righteousness, and we have um, Noah. And Shem, Ham, and Japheth and the Noahide nations. They pass on the torch in a, in a way. The sons of God continue to walk with God. And the community of God, following God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, goes on. And the Noahide community goes on to this day. And it's, it's reborn in a sense now. And it's marching on. I'm not talking about the Abrahamic covenant. They're there. The Jewish people, there they are. They've got their own covenant. They've got the Barit, as they call it, but that's for them. They're extant, they still exist. If you want to be Jewish, go for convert to that. I'm not talking about that. I acknowledge that. That's fair. That's not the issue that I'm drawing. No, that's not the point that I'm making. Now, because I'm the next link in the chain, and some others around in this generation have chosen current no white faith, we're the next links in the chain. We have a living history in this era of being alive and being representatives and names of the Karite Noah community of the Noahide Covenant. Karite just means Hey Hebrew Bible, which is the official scripture book. But really we're Noahides and we're representative of the covenant that God has with mankind. We're representing on that covenant. And we're the next, as I've said, link in the chain. And because the early fathers they passed on, the tradition passed on the sons of God as the community went through time. We go through time and we have a living history also. And because their living history was recorded in writings and taught as religious tradition, our generation, building on the covenant community, our living tradition can be taught in religious ideology also. We're not allowed to add to the Torah of Israel. You know, Jewish people aren't allowed to add to the Torah. It's finished. The Deuteronomy commands that. There's no commands upon the Noahide world of any similar command not to build on our traditions and to continue on for our covenant. There's no commands directed at, at us for that. You know, so, uh, uh, Noahide was talking, a tablet Noahide was talking on a video I watched on YouTube, the advancement of the Torah. You know, the, 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 there's the Torah with Noah and the advances with Abraham. Well, no, that's it's a separate Torah. It's not mankind's Torah, mate. That's Abraham's Torah. It's a new Torah for them. The advancement of the Noahide Torah, Genesis 1, 1 to 11, 9, is with us. It's not with the Jews. It's with Noahides, because if they have a separate covenant, we're the Noahides. It's our covenant. The advancement's with us, and with those who, who use the term Karah, because that's the actual scripture book. Talmud is not the scripture book. It's not the word of God. It's man-made. It's false traditions. So the community carries on with us. And we can have our own history, like the early patriarchs had their history. We can have our own history and we can record things. And the early patriarchs had religious ideas. We can have religious ideas. The early patriarchs wrote down records. We can write down records and do sermons and homilies and what ha whatever you want to call them, religious ideas, write down our life stories, I've done my autobiographies. We, we can record this, and that could be the religious paraphernalia, for want of a better word, of the living covenant community, of the Noahide covenant community, of the Adamide covenant community. 
we're still that living witness as the community of mankind goes on. Of those who observe the covenant and walk faithfully with God. So what I what I'm drawing at is that I've done a lot of work with Noahide books and Noahide videos on YouTube, Noahide books, Noah books at Angelfire.com, the Angel Saga, the Chronicles of Children and Destiny, and all sorts of religious things. And I've recently I've been talking to some of the current Noahides about them doing ideas as well and projects as well. We have uh, an emerging religious tradition in this generation building on the covenant of Noah. We can add in our religious legacy and identity. We're not asked not to. We're not commanded not to bring in this tradition into our religious community. We're allowed to do that. It's not commanded to us not to. So the living community of the Noahide covenant faith goes on today. And it continues on and advances into the future. I've got a structure in the Rainbow Bibles, which is part of that religious tradition I'm talking about, which I've developed. The Torah of Noah. I'm not talking about the Rainbow Torah, which is Genesis 1, 1, 12, 9. The Torah of Noah is a list uh, in four sections of a thousand rules, which is just for the advancing Noah movement and for Karite Noahides to take an interest in rules and ideas. I've borrowed a lot from, from the world's legal systems and traditions which have developed in our countries and our world's religious and legal traditions. And uh, that, to me, hopefully will, will find a place in the current Noah community. And mankind could settle in, the converts to our religion could settle in and learn it. But it doesn't mean we stop there because we're an advancing covenant. Once, once we've learned all this generational religious knowledge, stabilize it, solidify it, but it can go on for a long, long time. And my, one of my core ideas is that we, we take in the laws of mankind and ultimately I'm trying to get a synthesis between our movement and the legal codes of the nations of mankind to essentially unify it in the long term. We're mainstream, we interact with the world, we want to make our codes of law relevant to all of mankind and have the laws of mankind ultimately good law, which we observe also. So their, their ideas, whether this comes to fruition or not, I don't know if it's reality or not, but that's, that's maybe an idea for something to ultimately work towards. Mankind actually observing God's religion, getting it right with God. Now we've got to stay open to God, we've got to listen to God, we've got to listen to his prodding and his poking and listening to when he says we well, this, this idea you should be following and working with this sort of spirituality and these ideas. And we've got to stay open to him. And because we are Karite, the Hebrew Bible does speak to us at times. It's not totally ignored. It's a lesser covenant thing, most of it, but it's not totally ignored. But we have a living tradition of the Noahide community today. 